Guys, before I start this video off, I just want to let you guys know you guys won't be able to see the right side of my screen. It's because uh, I have a widescreen monitor, by it's like 21 by 9 inches or some shit like that. Um, so, yeah, um, the other thing is, uh, on OBS, I thought that if you put it as 920 by 1080, it would um, lower down the resolution on my screen when I record. But in fact, it doesn't do that, so, um, yeah, you guys might not be able to see what I'm talking about, but hopefully you guys do understand it. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's PRX Shave Rick Show. What the fuck you want to call me? Today, I will be teaching you how to fix all your issues on the Elgato HC um, software. Um, I know a lot of people have been having issues, even though if your like PCA requirements are like above the recommended for your Elgato, so this is how you fix them. So firstly, you guys um, should know that the Elgato only supports USB 2.0, doesn't support 3.0, which in most cases people are on their you know PCs have 3.0 ports which you know they're connected to 3.0 so if you have a 2.0 port please connect it to that um that that kind of fixed my issues with a lot of freezing and stuff and um uh yeah that kind of fixed uh, a few problems with me so that's all done and the other thing you guys want to do is go on to this right here this fucking little um settings tab right here click on that if you guys haven't already put your input device as whatever you're on and um, you guys want to put your audio output as HDMI if you haven't already left it as that. And you, I know a lot of YouTubers have been saying to put it on standard. We'll just leave it on expanded, trust me. Then um, leave it on like um, 720 or 1080. I allow 60 frames a second because I don't really mind it. And um, the quality uh, doesn't really matter. Just, you know, there's no difference of it. But you guys do want to turn off convert standard definition to 640 by 480. Alright, once you've done that, move on to picture. Change the brightness. Um, you guys can pause it to a video. Um, you can just write that, um, not write that down. Uh, change your settings, like the brightness, contrast, uh, and saturation. Just leave it here. Um, I just don't even know what the fuck it does, so I just leave it. Um, audio, just leave it normal, profile, and your TV compatibility, which I have a monitor, and um, I just left it as that, and it just works perfectly fine. And if you guys do have any more issues, I usually disable preview, I mean, this is only for like people that um, stream and stuff, so it doesn't really matter. And that kind of just wraps it up, um, oh, and last but not least. You guys wanna have to go here and turn off flashback uh, recording. Only have flashback recording if you guys have more than I reckon a terabyte hard drive or more. Um, so what flashback recording does is you can go back and get like it technically just records the whole thing. Like if even if you haven't you know recorded anything, you can just go back and record it or just take it whatever and once uh, enable stream command I mean that's not really for me I don't really stream or anything so yeah just leave it at that and um, you guys go to video codec and just leave it on automatic I reckon yeah that's that um, pretty much sums up the video guys if you enjoyed please drop a thumbs up on it subscribe for future videos I haven't been uploading lately because my internet is just horrendous it takes me like three, four hours or so for like three minute video. It's really annoying. Um, so yeah, I'll hopefully get back into the grind of making videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.